welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are new, make sure you click that subscribe button to become a part of the trendiest place on the internet. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. I'm really trying to hit 3K. Love you. So we all know I love Lush. I can't help it. It doesn't matter how much I try not to. Um, there's never going to be a bath bomb that works the way that a Lush bath bomb does. That's just that. I did a massive Lush haul last year. I spent like $500 just on like bath bombs and shower gels. And I'm starting to get to the end of that collection. And I'm finding myself as the weather gets colder, taking baths literally every night, if not every other night. And I'm down to like two bath bombs. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Lush and treat myself to a very large quantity of bath bombs. So without further ado, let's just get started with this massive Lush bath bomb haul. And before we get any further with the video, comment down below what your favorite Lush bath bomb is. I think my all-time favorite has to be Sakura or Intergalactic just because they are staple, stunning, beautiful scents. And unfortunately, the Lush I went to was out of stock of both of those. Okay, so the first thing I got was a big size of the Yognog shower gel. Oh my goodness, this shower gel is everything. If you wanna smell like absolute just caramel dessert, like maple syrup, this is this is the one and i'm really sad that they didn't come back with the yognog body milk this year because that is one of my favorite products of all time one of my co-workers gave me their yognog body milk because it is my absolute favorite thank you jojo if you happen to be watching this i am almost out of it already and it's been only a week i like a more sophisticated sweet set and i feel like yognog is literally that the first bath bomb here is i want a hippopotamus for christmas oh my goodness i was so excited to see that they brought this one back i cannot get over this scent it has these little like golden stars on top that melt into the bath it's fruity sweet scented with plastic free stars and popping candy so the notes in here are grapefruit oil almond essential oil and raspberry seed oil this one is just one absolutely adorable it's really great if you have a kid that you're shopping for or someone that just likes cute things okay so this one i already bought when it launched and used it so i know that i absolutely love this it is a scent of something else in the store but i cannot place it wait this is totally outback me it is literally Outback Me. It has peppermint and eucalyptus. It is called Snowball. I love that it legitimately looks like a snowball. It's not a perfect circle like some of the other bath bombs are. Oh my goodness, and it's like blue in the bath. If you like Outback Me, like I don't really have to say much else because that is amazing. This is also from the Holiday Line. This is the North Pole bubble bar i've never really been into the bubble bars that much until like a week ago when i watched jacqueline forbes new video where she tried every bubble bar and for some reason that made me fall in love with them i don't know why i don't know what changed but this one is kind of like spicy and fruity i love that it has the bath oil on the top and then the bubble bar on the bottom this is really great if you have drier skin like i do it has cocoa butter clove oil Brazilian orange oil. It's just spicy with a little bit of like Citrus in it. I don't know. It's just it's really good. So unpopular opinion I'm not the biggest fan of the sleepy scent. I think it's great. I would use it I like it, but it's definitely not my first choice at Lush, but for some reason I just love this sleepy bear scent and I'm really sad that this is just for the holidays. It smells like Sleepy, but there's something <laughs> different. So Sleepy is their classic lavender scent. This has lavender, tonka, and fine oatmeal. I really do like a good calming bath bomb every now and then, but I'm more one for spicier, woodsier scents. When it comes to bath bombs, I don't know why, and then maybe an occasional citrus. So sweet, warm ones like this aren't always my favorite, but something about this, I don't know. Something about this was just absolutely necessary for me to have in my life. <laughs> this is the weirdest shaped 
bubble bar I've ever seen. Usually these are way thicker and rounder, but this is like long and flat. But this is the iconic lush blue skies and fluffy white clouds. If you like um, a more woodsy, spicy scent, this is gonna be the one for you. I also like that I can get two baths out of this. The notes in here are very earthy, very woodsy. It's got patchouli, frankincense, and cinnamon. So if you like something that's like warm and just inviting, especially for this time of year, it's very fall. It's very much scented pine cone vibes. Like I said, I usually don't go for super, super sweet scents. This, however, is an exception. This is my favorite bath bomb. Across the board, it's only around in holiday time. So there is a bath bomb that I feel like might be taking first place over this one, which I'll share with you later. This is called Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb. It has three stars, which are made of cocoa butter. It has almond oil, a little bit of orange oil. It is very, very sweet. It basically smells like honey, I wash the kids if you are familiar with that scent. It's described on the website as smelling like a creamy melted honey and caramel latte. This one is amazing, definitely my favorite holiday launch that is new to the collection. I am absolutely blown away by this one. It's so glittery, so if you don't like glitter, stay away. This is called You Shall Go to the Ball. It is like Cinderella's little I got a bath bomb on my nose. It's like Cinderella's little pumpkin carriage thing, but not, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. It's like Cinderella's little thing. I couldn't even describe the scent to you if I wanted to, so I'm going to refer to the website. It says Sicilian lemon oil, Tonka absolute, strawberry, floral jasmine, has soybean flour, which is going to help. The skin retain moisture. I can't even explain. You just have to go smell this. But this is definitely one of my new favorite ones from this year's holiday collection and I'm going to stock up at the end of the season. Hopefully this comes back next year because I don't know if I'll be able to live without it, to be honest. <laughs> this one. Okay, so remember when I was saying that there is a bath bomb that might be taking the cake for first place over Shoot for the Stars over here? Yeah, it is this one. This is the Hey Hollywood bath bomb. It's beautiful. It's got this like green silver shimmer to it. It has like a peppermint scent to it, but it still has this like sweet vanilla -iness as well. Um, I haven't used this one before, so when I use it, I'm going to see what the experience is like and if it takes the cake over Shoot for the Stars because it might just take the cake. So Snow Fairy is the best-selling holiday fragrance. It flies off the shelves, okay? Snow Fairy goes crazy. People will stockpile it like it is non-perishable food items, which I've never understood. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never understood it. I never liked it. I feel like a lot of Lush employees can probably say the same thing. It's kind of too like candy, too bubble gum, too sweet. But then I realized like I actually never tried any of the Snow Fairy items personally. I've just smelled them in the store while I was working and I just felt like I got so sick of it. Maybe the experience is what people are just raving about. Maybe it smells better once it's broken down in the bath. I don't know, maybe it smells better on your skin after you get out of the bath. So I decided like, you know what, let me cop a Snow Fairy bubble bar. I mean, now that it's like outside of the store and in my home, the scent is a lot less harsh, I guess you could say. It's very just bubblegum and sweet. I don't know, if you guys have tried Snow Fairy, let me know in the comments if you love it or hate it. I feel like it's very much a hit or miss for people. So let me know what you think. Let's see if I can guess this one based off the scent. Oh, this is orange pop. Okay, this one I'm very excited to try because I've been really into orange scents. Lush just released the Sweet Wild Orange Hand Cream and I use that literally every day. I love the consistency of it, but also the scent. And I've been really into like citrusy scents. I feel like they're just a change in pace for me because I never really reach for something as citrusy as this. I'm very into it. It smells like fresh squeezed orange juice. 
and apparently it's packed with like the popping candy. It's the same set as Bright Side and the Orange Shower Scrub. If you're into either of those, it's basically the bath bomb version. So yeah, I'm excited to try it. It looks like a little orange. It's very cute. This is Goddess, and I'm really nervous about this one. This is like the God is a Woman Ariana Grande bath bomb moment, but it is the most glittery thing to have ever existed. When you hold it or when you pick it up, glitter flies everywhere, so I definitely just inhaled some of that. But Goddess is basically like a jasmine scent. I have never tried this one, but I was like, you know what? It's so stunning that I absolutely have to give it a go. Yeah, that's Goddess. She's cute. I love the shape. I love the vibe. This is the Rainbow Bubble Bar, and this one kind of looks a little tie-dye. First of all, I have never tried this one before. That's kind of why I got it. I'm, I wanted to get the matcha roll, but it was out of stock. This is kind of like a citrus. It has benzoin, which is like a sweet vanilla scent with the Sicilian lime oil and the cornstarch which will give it that silky texture so i'm really excited to try this it smells like raspberry lemonade or something so that is the rainbow bubble bar all right guys so that is everything that i bought at lush for myself we'll say it's an early birthday gift but i hope you guys enjoyed this haul if you did let me know in the comments below i would love to do more lush hauls or lush reviews or lush videos because i really do love most of the Lush products. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!